Silver lining, whenever a cloud appears in the blue, remember somewhere the sun is shining. Is that you singing, Peggy? Oh, oh, I'm sorry, dear. No need to apologise. I didn't realise you could hear. No, I like to hear you singing. You do? Of course. You know what I always say? Well, there are so many things you always say, dear. You'll have to give me a clue. A contented staff is an efficient staff. But I'm not the staff, Redvers. I'm your wife. Of course you are. And if that's not something to sing about, I don't know what is. <laughs> have you ever thought, Aileen, how easily you could have married an absolute idiot? <laughs> Frequently. But uh, don't let me interrupt you. I mean, carry on. Carry on what? Carry on singing. Now? Yeah. Don't pay any attention to me. I mean, I, I should be here. Just to give you a few pointers on breathing and, uh, and pitch. But I don't want any pointers on breathing and pitch. Oh, Redvers. I do wish you would take charge of everything. <laughs> I suppose it's destiny. Napoleon was just the same, you know. Poor Josephine. Um, <laughs> When I say Napoleon was just the same, I mean, uh, you have to remember, of course, that he was a frog. <laughs> I'll try it, Redvers. I suppose the sweet factory was my empire. Although I believe that, uh, given the chance, I could equally as well have conquered Europe. <laughs> These things don't occur to one when one's born in Basingstoke. <laughs> but you're not singing. Well, why do you want me to? Well, I... I get so much pleasure out of hearing you enjoy yourself without it costing me a fortune. <laughs> Redvers, that's not fair. You know I always use my own money. Yes. Now I have the time, you know, I think I ought to be looking into some of your investments. I'd rather just leave them, dear. Seems a pity not to avail yourself of my expertise. I can't afford it. <laughs> There's no need to harp on that either. Was it my fault that the world wasn't ready for blue margarine? <laughs> on bread. Chock full of nourishment. Blue margarine. Yuck. Should have been green if some fool hadn't mixed the dyes up. <laughs> now listen, Amy. Do you think you could sing if I were to bring the Tullivers round? Oh, no, I couldn't. I think I ought to give it a try. I think I ought to let Diana hear you singing a bit. We'll probably counter that absurd notion she has that I'm always trying to keep your personality suppressed. Oh, not suppressed, dear. More like annihilated. <laughs> mm. I think we'll have more singing in this house. I'll do my best, Redvers. I think we'll have singing from, oh, 9.30 hours till coffee break. <laughs> and if the weather's nice, you can fling the windows open. <laughs> hey, oh, there's one more thing. Now what? I see they're opening a physical training centre in the town. Now, I've been thinking about this question of physical fitness, you know. I think it's time to put complacency aside and face the unpleasant fact that one is no longer the young, slim person of yesteryear. You never wear, dear. <laughs> Time has left its marks, but uh, this sloppiness has got to stop you, know, Aileen. It must stop. I absolutely agree with you. It's a splendid idea. I'm all in favour of it. It'll do you good. Me? <laughs> it's you I'm talking about. <laughs> I want you to sign up here first thing in the morning. Get yourself back into some sort of shape. <laughs> Good morning, Redford. You just dropped some chess pieces, uh, Tolly. Yes, I have noticed that. Nerves playing up, are they? Only when people creep up and bash on the window. Uh, you know why your nerves are shot to pieces, don't you? No, but I've no doubt you'll tell me why. I could pinpoint your troubles in one word. Women. Women? <laughs> but I haven't got any women. Well, only my wife. That's her. That's the one. Hello, here comes the vicar. 
He'd agree with everything I've said. You mark my words. I didn't know Jane was keeping fit. Do you think it's too late for Tully to learn to master his wife? Probably. I have no wish to learn how to master Diana. You'll never believe what I had for breakfast today. Huh? Home cured bacon. Oh, I haven't seen any for years. Neither had I until this farmer chap brought a bit along. He'd heard a voice in his sugar beet, apparently, saying, go ye and ply the vicar with streaky bacon. <laughs> we tried a few rashers this morning. How was it? Terrible. <laughs> I'll cut you a piece. <laughs> Hello. Isn't that our local gangster? Yeah. You said he'd retired. Has retired. Wouldn't still be a member of the golf club if he hadn't retired, would he? <laughs> Bush passed up on a bleeding door for me, Frida. I didn't think you'd get out, did I? <laughs> I don't pay you to sit on your fanny fiddly with a stereo. <laughs> How's it looking, fucking all the local gentry? Ah! Uh. <laughs> Nice day, gentlemen. Looks like rain. Never. You're an expert, then? I've got his cousin who is. And he gets it for you wholesale, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I like it. <laughs> gets it for you wholesale. <laughs> You're a wag, Mr. Potter. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> I've had people's arms broken for worse jokes than that. <laughs> that was a long time ago, of course. <laughs> How did this cousin of yours become such a boffin on the weather? Oh, it's his profession, isn't it? Farms a few acres, does he? In Cricklewood? A yachtsman, perhaps? He's a Peter man. Boom! He's a safe blob. Believe me, Mush, you don't go punching about the countryside with a pocket full of jelly if there's a thunderstorm coming. <laughs> <coughs> of course, he's packed it all in now. Huh? What's he doing these days? Uh, open University. Oh. <laughs> well, he should be able to open it, if anybody can. <laughs> oh, oh, this is cosy. This is nice to be rubbing shoulders with the respectable end of the community. You're all waiting for the little women, are you? Well, actually, we're waiting for three of them. One each being normal in our circles. <laughs> <laughs> One each. I've been thinking about that. Get to my age, it seems a more reasonable arrangement. I didn't know a beer like this. I ought to get back to the wife. You've left her somewhere? Yeah. About 15 years ago. I shouldn't <laughs> bother then. She's probably gone by now. <laughs> Think that marriage is a permanent arrangement? Of course. Marriage is for life. Tell him, Tolly. Well, uh, it's obvious to me that uh, marriage is a is a, a, a fine institution. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? He has to mention words like institution. But I'm looking for encouragement. He's threatening me with maximum security. <laughs> it dropped on there, Tolly. You don't know how lucky you are. All waiting for your lawful wedded wives, all proper. Souls at peace. Instead of being riddled with guilt because you're stuck here waiting for some slaggy bird who don't mean that much to you. <laughs> Get out of here. Don't just sit there. Run. Run. <laughs> Bleeding great lummox. You wanted me, boss? I wouldn't if you wasn't married to my idiot sister. Can you snap your fingers? Yeah, boss. Not now, not now. When I give you the nod. <laughs> like I was saying, instead of waiting out here for some slaggy bird who don't mean... No, you great dollop. <laughs> that much to you. How much is that much? A small flaming fortune she cost me, that's all. That's another thing you begin to realise when you get older. The wife was cheaper. Is that all, boss? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Get back in your arch. <laughs> You don't know how much I am for you three. Ah, it'll come, huh? Oh, my God, I... I... <laughs> <laughs> not right. He's not right. 
That friend of Harry Toombs. <laughs> she had very long legs. <laughs> I was about to say strides. Oh, sorry. What would Diana say if she'd heard that? All I said was legs. There he goes again. Pull yourself together. <laughs> but honestly, if a chap can't even mention legs, don't you ever mention legs? Before wicket. <laughs> of lamb. <laughs> Splash of mint sauce. Definitely. Very tasty. It certainly was. <laughs> the sooner Moody had his wife goes back to him, the better. For impressionable young hot bloods like Tully. Hot bloods? Hot bloods? What's he drinking? Lager. There I see. There I am what? Inflaming your senses with that foreign stuff. It's made in Sheffield. <laughs> is it? Good God. <laughs> I'll have you know my senses are far from inflamed. That is not the impression you give me. I wouldn't mind. Only I've never had the slightest desire to stray outside my marriage. It is just the same, you know. So I think I can be proud that I've, I've always kept her happy. All they need is a bit of affection. Don't even know their birthdays. Birthdays? What's that got to do with it? I always remember Diana's birthday. Which one? Everyone. Everyone? Every year? But of course every year. How do you manage it? Well, it's always on the same day, isn't it? <laughs> and they get a bit repetitious saying happy birthday every year. But what's extraordinary <laughs> about saying happy birthday, darling? <laughs> Many happy returns to you, Mush. <laughs> They're in here, boss. So I'm coming over the door of the car. I sit in the car, you open the door of the car. How many times I have to tell you a great airy prawn? Let's do it. <laughs> I'm the door of the car. Excuse me. <laughs> I, uh, I think I ought to be getting back to the shop. Nonsense, darling. At least we can make the van feel welcome. He terrifies me. They both terrify me. You won't come to any harm. Not while I'm here. How can you be sure when one of them's eight foot tall? There is such a thing as moral authority, you know. Hmm, there is, when you're eight foot tall. You'll be all right, Tully. <laughs> Just wait your time and then tackle him for another contribution to the Church Restoration Fund. Me? Why not you? Because you're the treasurer. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be very, very wrong if we were to circumvent your office. And... I don't mind, honestly. Smile. Don't let him see that you're afraid of him. I think he knows. <laughs> try not to rub him up the wrong way this time. I do try, I do try. Smile. <laughs> ah, Mr. Toombs. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the roof of your mini then? Don't remind me. His wife fell on him. <laughs> fell on it? She was up a ladder pointing some brickwork. <laughs> That's what I miss. Domesticity. You wouldn't get a kind arm living with doing that. Well, if it's a question of her wishing to borrow my ladder, no, she's no, very no, welcome. No, it's not the ladder, no, no. It's the inclination. You ought to see her nails. Oh, I know that type. I didn't know that, Redvers. Yeah, they bend every nail they hammer in. No, no, no. <laughs> not, not hammering nails. Long painted fingernails. Oh. No, I don't know that type. I thought not. I don't know what you mean by that type. Diana has long painted fingernails. She really? But of course she has. Give the boy a drink, somebody. No, that's all right. Frida's getting him. Frida! No, 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 I, I, I don't want another drink. I never have more than one drink at lunch. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Why does he drink so much if he can't take it? There's a weakness there. <laughs> if you're coming round, could you ring the bell, Mush? <laughs> of course I can ring the bell. It's my bell. I live here. Oh. Up a bit. Up a bit. Uh, <laughs> Damned if I can remember which way's up. <laughs> oh my God, I can't remember which way's up. 
Oh. You nearly got it that time. Oh. Now, now keep your hand there. Now, uh. now slide it up the wall. Uh. That's it. You got it. Uh. Press it. Don't let it get away. Uh. <laughs> Tommy. Tommy. Oh. Tommy. Oh. Diana. Diana. Tommy's perfectly all right. You don't think that we'd let anything happen to him? Oh. Where shall I put him? Oh, dump him anywhere inside. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see them? Long painted fingernails. Don't know how they do it. I hope she doesn't try and lose his collar. She could tear the boy's throat out. <laughs> the last address I had, she lived down this way. You can still write to her then? Mm. Only through solicitors. It's a nice area. Yeah. <laughs> it ought to be the alimony it cost me. Aye, aye, this is it. There it is, number 60. I remember it now. Will she have your back, do you think? Oh, you must be joking. Mush, me, smooth Harry Tombs. If there's one thing I've got, it's the power of a woman. When I turn on the old charm, darling, it's electric. <laughs> Don't make the sound of that gate. <laughs> the gate's squeaking. What? The gate is squeaking. Sorry, I couldn't hear you for the gate squeaking. <laughs> That's the sort of thing that happens, you know. Women living on their own. Things get neglected. Wonder if they said that about Greta Garbo? What? A gate squeaks. <laughs> there was one thing that really cheesed me off. It's some midget going... <laughs> ..with his finger. Put your cap on straight. Go and get an oil can. I'll carry an all can. Who think it's bulge under my armpit? Is an all can. <laughs> what is the bulge in his armpit? <laughs> Probably excess hair. <laughs> Electric, that's all. When Harry Toombs pours on his arm, stays bored. Come on, Vera. Let's see if your legs still turn to water. <laughs> <laughs> it's this billion watt grin. <laughs> Go away, Harry. <laughs> Vera! Stop poncing about, let me in. I'm, I'm a changed man, Vera. Ever since I got this arthritis, I knew where I really belonged. <laughs> Vera? Vera! Down there. Can you see? Is it burn dry? I can't see, can I? Well, get your head down and have a look. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm lying on the bleak. <laughs> I'm on the pavement, ain't I? <laughs> Is he not at home on a pavement, do you think? You'd think any damn fool would be at home on a pavement, wouldn't you? <laughs> Comes of frittering your life away in nightclubs and gambling places. Did you really? <laughs> <laughs> not me, him. Oh, him. How are you doing? How long am I supposed to be lying down here? Good heavens, man. You're not lying in the roadway. What could possibly happen to you on a peaceful English pavement? <laughs> There's only one thing for it. You're going to have to lift it off. You're looking well, Vera. Nice of you to say so, Harry. Yeah, I know. Uh, Vera. How long have you had this, then? Here, that looks a bit pricey. Vera, you've not been buying retail. Leave it alone, Harry, and don't let's start the usual inventory. I just... I, I hate to think of you wandering about all alone at your age amongst people who buy retail. Why don't you sit down, girl, huh? What I'm going to say is going to take your breath away. 
I'm quite happy standing up. I think you should sit down, honest, I do. I'm all right on my feet. Well, I warn you, this is liable to get very moving. Then get on with it. Well, I'm just trying to be considerate, aren't I? Harry, I think I can take it standing up. Sit down! <laughs> all right, stay on your feet. <laughs> just don't go to pieces, that's all. I don't want you crying all over me. It's one thing that gets to me, it's women weeping tears of gratitude. Oh, for goodness sake, Harry, what is it? Vera, I think we ought to get together again. <laughs> We're still married. You divorced me, Harry. Well, apart from that, we're married. <laughs> Look, are we going to suffer the rest of our lives just because you walked out in the temple one night? Fifteen years ago. Yeah, well, I had to give you time to cool down, didn't I? <laughs> You're a crook, Harry. Oh, gee, yeah, yeah, borderline. A crook. Look, I can't live with that. I'm as clean as a whistle these days, Vera. Have you ever seen a whistle? It gets the end all chewed up and covered with spit. <laughs> I'm reformed, aren't I? I'm a pillar of the community. Oh, been sleeping around again, have you? No, I'm not. <laughs> not pillow, pillar. Oh, come back to me, Vera. Give up this huge, monstrous bungalow, which is too big for one person. Unless they're getting outrageous amounts of alimony. Crook! Look, Vera, I'm respectable now. You should see the friends I've made out there in the car right now. This'll kill you. Redvers Potter. Who? Redvers. He's a retired sweet manufacturer, a power in the golf club. I mean, Vera, they are so boring. They'll be right up your alley, mate. <laughs> look, you're going to listen to me. You're going to look out the window. Here I am, laying my life on the line. She's looking out the window. You were banging on the door and you frightened my Siamese. Ah, the Siamese. Yes, and now he's out there hiding somewhere in the garden. Siamese? I'll leave you on your own for a few years. You can't wait for me. <laughs> you couldn't stay faithful. You knew I'd be back. What? <laughs> Talking about. You have to humiliate me with an oriental. <laughs> My Siamese! Look, kill him! Cat! I don't care how cool he thinks he is, he's a dead cat. <laughs> I still know people in the trade. Now, it comes to taking people out, I can get it wholesale. You, <laughs> <laughs> you had to put the horns on me <laughs> with a Siamese. Cat! Cat! <laughs> you mean, you mean a, a cat like a, a cat, cat, cat like cat, cat, you know, meow, meow, cat. <laughs> oh, I'll forgive you. Hurry, 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 how long have I got to stand with this thing? Oh, stop fretting, man. Don't hear us fretting. What do you think, Padre? I think this is a good opportunity to investigate that bulge in his armpit. <laughs> Here! What are you doing? Keep still, man. Listen! <laughs> I'm tickling! <laughs> I think it's a shoulder holster. Can't you be sure? Not really. Very few of my parishioners wear shoulder <laughs> Try again. Listen! Uh, what you're poking about within there? <sighs> ah. There you are, is it? I missed the feel of something lying there. Besides, none of me suits it fit if we didn't have something wedged in there. You know what surprises me about all this? It's quite a decent whiskey. <laughs> yeah, well, we don't need to say a lot to worry about that, do we? <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm, nimble little malt. <laughs> There's a cat just walked between me legs. Funny. What? That expression. What expression? There's a cat just walked between my legs. With yours as well. No, no, no. Must be an expression, like someone walking over your grave. I've never heard of it. Walking over your grave? Yes, of course. Dozens of times. No, 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 not that. I mean, the cat thing. You've never heard anybody say that. Yes, I have. Let me think. It was him. <laughs> him? He's Polish. I'm not Polish. Not Polish with a name like Fridakovich. My old man was Polish. Can I put this frigging gate down? Talked to some quaint old Polish sayings, did he? Didn't sound much like a quaint old Polish saying to me. What? Can I put that frigging gate down? Straight up. Why are you wearing the gate? Well, it was his idea, wasn't it? No, 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 no. I don't want to take all the credit. Put it down as a sign of his cat in here. Well, not any more, there isn't. What? Went through my legs, didn't he? You great fraud, you go bananas. Not to worry, not to worry. The Padre has the answer. He does services for lost Siamese's? <laughs> no, but he's got this splendid old girl at home with a great nose. Tell them about her. Jane has a big nose. I've never noticed that. No, not Jane. Your Labrador bitch. Oh, her. <laughs> Give it a few minutes with me. We'll soon catch your cat for you. Come along. Let's go and get her before the trail goes cold. Oh, damn, damn it, it's not a race. Morning. Morning, damn it. Heel. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's all right, Redwoods. The cat was in the boot all the time. How do I stop this damn thing? Oh, that's all right. I've got her old fur toy here. That'll soon stop her. Come back. Heel. Oh, Give up a giggle. Vera, come and see where your cat is. Where? Where? <laughs> Vera! Vera! Do you think it'll do the Memsabs any good? <laughs> what? <laughs> Just keep fit stuff. Jane's a bit stiff. <laughs> I thought you could give her something for that. <laughs> Such as what? New garden fork. I thought I'd wait for her birthday. <laughs> Whenever that is. <laughs> that would be a good idea. Hmm. Affected Aileen at all? Birthdays? <laughs> well, yes, they do a bit, you know. She's looking a bit older, poor old dear. <laughs> Does Jane, do you think? What? <laughs> Look older. Can't you tell? I can't remember what she looked like when we got married. Harry, <laughs> surely you've got a photograph. Have I? Yes, on the sideboard in that walnut frame. Really? Is it? <laughs> I think it is. Yes, you were quite right. What about? It is a walnut frame. Thank you.